what terminal it uh... okay welcome back to my channel we're picking up where we left off in the last video today i'll be exploring the bus terminal at bangkok airport and then making my way to chinatown stay tuned for the adventure This is what it happens uh, when you come to the wrong location. I think uh, I misunderstood from the Google map that this is the bus stop. Uh, but I think uh, the bus stop for the Wahen and Pattaya is from the main terminal. So this is where we are heading right now. So he's gonna give me a short ride to the, uh, the airport terminal, Samama Bumi Airport. Bus is nice, you know. You see the beautiful seats. Comfortable bus ride. I think uh, I'm gonna take the bus ride tomorrow. We have arrived at Suvarnabhumi International Airport, as known as Bangkok Airport. So the ticket is inside? Inside? Okay. Here is the bus ticket counter to Pattaya and Hua Hin. The ticket to Hua Hin is 325 baht and for Pattaya is 199 baht. For Hua Hin. Oh, that's a place one. Uh, that one, Pattaya. This one for Hua Hin. <laughs> So I already purchased my ticket for tomorrow 12.30. Uh, you can buy a ticket in advance, it's possible. So this is the booth here, it's on level 1, that's the one here. Uh, so I think this is all uh, arrival section here. This is, this is the place where you can get your transportation. It's, Looks very busy airport today. How are you, man? Hey guys, when you arrive at some of Burmi airport, you will see all the vendors for the cell phone SIM cards. So the prices are different for every SIM card. So here, there is a board here to show you the prices. For 8 days, 299, 15, 30 days, uh, 80 GB, max speed and it's 99 baht and then here we have unlimited one 15 days and 30 days and that one is for unlimited 5g 1100 baht so this is from the true 5g 
and then we have here AIS network and they have this plants here AIS network if you are for 8 days then it's 29 baht 15 GB and if you are for 30 days the plan is for 99 baht and for unlimited unlimited 1399 baht thank you actually the prices are here there on the board as well so you can see but if you wait a little bit and go to any 7-eleven they will have a better deals I bought my 30 days uh, SIM card for 399 baht 350 baht I think it was unlimited data so so it's a big price it's, it's a big change and also good thing about in this airport is that we have a Wi-Fi here so if you want to call Uber or something you can uh, uh, just call uh, from using a Wi-Fi wi data once you reach you to a uh, hotel then the next day you can buy it uh, same card from uh, any 7-eleven 7-elevens are everywhere so if you want to take the airport uh, rail link then you have to go to basement floor go into the basement floor Let's take airport rail line to Chinatown. So the SIM cards vendors are everywhere. Even in the basement floor, there is another vendor sitting here. They have these plans. 30 days is 1,100 dollars. It is uh, just a convenience. Just a convenience. That's why if you want to get a SIM card immediately, you can buy it right now. So if you want to take the train, so you have to come to the basement level and follow the city line signs. You can buy the ticket with using a credit card or cash. They have cash counters available. Just pay cash there and they will get it for you. But before you get uh, to pay, you want to make sure which station you want to go. So let me check what station I'm going in. So I want to go to Chinatown, so it will be Makassan and then from there I'll take a blue line all the way to Wat Mangkok. I think that's where the Chinatown is. So let's see, so I'm gonna go to Makassan, change the train, blue line and then all the way to Wat Mangkok. Hello, Makassan. Makassan, one ticket, 35 please. Yeah, here we go. Thank you so much. There it opens. Taking the airport rail line to your destination is extremely convenient, offering a direct route from the airport.
just got off uh, from uh, the train from the airport to Makassan station and I'm going to take MRT uh, there's another metro line going to Chinatown and I will show you the name of the stop for the Chinatown so so I'm just having a uh, connector this is the connector walkway to MRT line from the train station good thing about Bangkok is that uh, uh, you know street food vendors are everywhere like this one here hello sawadika look at the sausage I'm going to Chinatown so there will be a lots of food vendors so that's why I'm just resisting myself not to eat anything here right now so the entrance for the mall for the metro is from here let me show you the city here this is the hustling and bustling of Bangkok I'm going to this one here, Wat Mang Kwan. Hello, Wat Mang Kwan. Sorry? Wat Mang Kwan. 23 baht, please. Huh? 33 baht. 23 baht? 33 baht, okay. No, sir, cannot, cannot photo, cannot oh, okay. video. So I am, so I am here at MRT station. I just got off from uh, Wat Mang Wat Bangkok. So I came from the airport. I took the train from the airport all the way to uh, um, Makassan, Makassan station, and then from there I took the blue line all the way here to this place. Uh, this one here, Wat Mangkon. So this area here, around here, this is all Chinatown. So I'm gonna walk around this Chinatown area and show you. Bangkok's Chinatown, also known as Yawarak, is one of the oldest and most vibrant Chinatowns in the world. Sort of a, I don't know what this chicken something. Yeah. It has a rich history dating back to the late 1700s when Chinese immigrants settled in the area. Chicken, uh, I'm 
The district is a melting pot of Thai and Chinese cultures. While predominantly Chinese, it has seamlessly integrated with Thai traditions, creating a unique and lively cultural atmosphere. He's making some kind of Chinese noodles. Looks very expert. Whatever he's doing it. He's making all sort of a... Look at his speed, how fast he's doing it. And the broth is here. This is how it comes out. Some kind of uh, Chinese delicacies are here. I don't know what are this over there, chicken feet here. There's a fish over there. And there's a menu here. Walking through its narrow streets, you'll encounter a blend of traditional Chinese buildings, temples, and modern structures, creating a fascinating urban landscape. Hello. How much is one? How much one? This one? How much? Huh? Ten bucks. It's just chicken, yeah? This is pork. Can I get one? Yeah. yeah. Uh, this one, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna warm it here. Nice for ten bucks. Very good. Thank you. It's hot, really hot. That's good. I'm here right now in this place and I'll go around. Took it. Chicken liver. I like chicken liver for uh, 10 baht. Very soft. How much? What is that? Pork? Pork? Yeah, no, I don't eat pork. Oh, no, we the vegetarian. Okay, I'll try. Where can I sit? Okay. What is that? 20 baht. 
This one? Bangkok's Chinatown is a paradise for food enthusiasts. How much? 40 baht? Okay. Let's see, what is this? P100 baht. Huh? P100. One, two, three, one hundred baht. Oh, three for one hundred baht. One forty. Okay. Okay. I'll take one. One. Yeah. Let's try this. Very good, though. Very refreshing. It pure yellow color. I'm not sure if they add any colors. It's cold and very good taste. I think she put a little bit of salt, which I like it. It's refreshing. How's the menu? Can I see? There are so many street vendors and restaurants for the food and uh, so many items. And the strange thing, there are gold here. People are buying gold here as well in Chinatown. The neighborhood is home to several Chinese temples and shrines, each with its own unique charm. So that concludes uh, my uh, whole day's trip to Chinatown. So now I took uh, my uh, bike back to the hotel. Look at the rush hour. Getting used to, it to the bike.
wraps up today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more updates. Your support means a lot. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, that's good, Pat. Hey?